In this video, we're going to dive more into the bootstrap grid system. We will look at breakpoints, auto layout and responsive row columns. Make sure you watch my previous video about bootstrap grid system, where we explain columns, rows and containers and briefly touch on responsive design. I will leave the link somewhere just up here. Without further ado, let's get started. Created a file index.html and then I imported a bootstrap CDN, which you can find in the bootstrap documentation or in my previous video. Before we're gonna start coding, let's have a look on bootstrap documentation and the responsive design. So we wanna go to documentation, we're gonna go to grid and then right here we have got grid options and we got few variables which is xs sm md lg xl and xxl what does it mean so whatever is above 576 we can set columns to it we can set different columns for lg 992 so if our screen size is higher than 992 pixel we can set different columns let me just jump to the code editor and explain to you a little bit more in depth. Let's start with a container and let's give the container row and let's give the row column uh, which is gonna have a value of 12 and I will explain to it a little bit later why I'm doing it and then let's give it some style so style and I want to have background color of red and let's give it some text so i want to have this one it's gonna be diff uh, number one and i will copy this column or this diff and i will paste it three times i will change the number so this is gonna be second and this is gonna be third and i will change the color so i want to have this one yellow and this one is gonna be aqua if i save it see that I will be zooming in and zooming out so just to explain to you if I zoom in uh, meaning the width of the screen is smaller so imagine that a maximum zoom in now which is 500% and this is kind of like a mobile device and then once I zoom out it's larger screens so for instance I'm 100% now which is my laptop so now we can see our columns are 12 which means it takes the full width but I want the full width for um, mobile device meaning if I zoom in like this this is great I want to have a uh, full width meaning 12 columns 12 columns here and 12 columns for the last bit but I don't want to have it on uh, let's say for laptop screen or different screen sizes so I will change it I will give it column ND which is medium size uh, and I want to have it 6 and then column um, LG which is large uh, just only 4 and I will repeat that here so column MD6 and then column LG4 and the same I will just copy and paste for the last diff and if I save it Let's see what's going to happen. So I'm on the smallest size of the screen. We have got 12 columns, so the full width of the screen. And once I come down a little bit more, here we are. So now we have div number one and div number two in one row, meaning the column MD6 and column MD6 they can fit next to each other because we know that bootstrap has said 12 columns and if i divide 12 columns we have got six and six so it can fit but this last one doesn't fit in there therefore the last one is sitting there by itself in the another row if i just change it to 12 so the last div will take the full width if i just save it you can see the last div will take the full width or if I just uh, add two, it means it will just take two columns from the 12. Hope that's clear. And if I just zoom a little bit out, we see that they just sit next to each other. 
we have got column LG4, column LG4 and LG4. We've got three times four, it's 12. We've got 12 columns, they can sit next to each other. Hope that's clear. If you've got any questions, please reach me out in the comment section below. I'm happy to help you. Let's have a look at auto layout. So I want to delete everything from here. So let's delete the numbers and columns. Let's just leave the column. And if I just save it, and if I don't add any number, it basically splits the 12 columns between the diffs here. So this diff have probably four, this diff have four, and this diff have four. I want the middle one to be the largest one. So I will just add column six, and I will save it. Now we see the diff number two is the largest one and then the diff number one and diff number three is smallest. It basically took the remaining space, meaning we already allocated six columns for the middle one. Then we have got six columns left, meaning three columns is for the diff number one and three columns is for diff number three. Hope that's clear. Let's have a look at the responsive row columns. So I want to delete this. Let's just save it for now and let's go back to the row. And now what I will do is row calls two. I basically said that I want to have only two columns in one row, meaning this div will be displayed and this div will be displayed. This div is not because I just said two. If I will save it, you see that this div number one is displayed and number two is displayed in the same row but the rest is not in there and if i will just do three it will take all three divs if i just do one it will just take one div per row which is a really good feature as well and you can also use the breakpoints let me just show you for instance i want to use uh, default columns three which will display three divs next to each other, but for medium screen size, I want to display only one. So I will do row calls MD, which is the medium size, and I will display just only one. And for large, I want to display just two. And now I will save it. And now you see that I have got div number one and div number two next to each other, because I'm currently on this large screen but once i start zoom in now you see that they are they're taking the full width because i'm on the medium screen and i said i want just only one diff or one column in one row just this one the md and once i start zooming in i will see they're gonna be next to each other and they are just next to each other diff number one diff number two and diff number three because I set it here, row calls three, meaning I want to have three columns or three divs in one row. Hope that's clear and if you've got any question, reach me out in the comment section below and I will see you next time. Peace.